For the 2011-2012 academic year, the NCAA came out with a list of regulations for student athletes. Among those regulations are rules that state an athlete is ineligible to play their sport if they receive compensation of any kind from outside sources, especially if it is based on their name, image, or likeness. For me as an athlete, it's pretty obvious. Like we get, we get it drilled into our heads that we cannot receive any type of money or profit in any way for our name, image, or likeness. Then, on October 29, 2019, the NCAA released an official statement saying that the NCAA's governing board has decided to allow college athletes to benefit from their name, image, and likeness. This statement showed a glimmer of hope for athletes who have donated their life to their sport. In fact, student athletes spend at least 30 hours a week practicing, which doesn't allow them to have a part-time job and have income like other college students. Student athletes work helped bring in $9.15 billion to universities last year, and they failed to see any of that money result in direct compensation to athletes. Now that athletes may be able to get paid, the question stands of who will benefit the most. It seems obvious that athletes at universities with the largest earning athletic departments are going to make the most money. For example, University of Texas made over $219 million last year. So athletes at their university are going to make more money than an athlete at the University of Nebraska, whose athletic department only brought in $120 million last year. At the University of Nebraska, playmakers on any major team will be reaping the most benefits. The star players that everyone knows, and that's no secret. They get the number of publicity as they should, I mean, making plays off on the field. So they'll definitely do that the most. And that's in any sport, football or volleyball or track, basketball, it doesn't really matter. A great way to visualize how much they would be making is to look at jersey sale revenues. If the NCAA were to mimic the NFL's policy on jersey sales, athletes would be making two thirds of the profit from each jersey. So, if Adrian Martinez were allowed to profit from his jersey sales and the University of Nebraska sold 250 Adrian Martinez jerseys at $100 a piece, Adrian Martinez would bring in over $16,000 on jersey sales alone. Despite the university an athlete is at, their national identity can make them even more money. Big names like Duke's Zion Williamson or Clemson's Trevor Lawrence can make millions of dollars each year off their name and likeness. Meanwhile, a local star like Darian Daniels might only make around $25,000 each year. Overall, athletes in popular sports at big universities who make big plays frequently will make the most from this NCAA rule change, allowing athletes to benefit from their name, image, and likeness. In terms of how it will play out that is still to be determined.